Right, so one of the things we're going to have a look at today is our paddle wheel for our log. Um, so it's always a bit of a nerve-wracking moment. So I've got the bung ready, um, I've got to take this out, and then obviously some water's going to gush in here. So it's always a bit of a nervous time when you when you take one of these things out. I've only done it a couple of times before, so I'm a little bit nervous myself, to be perfectly honest. But I'm going to make sure I've got this all the right way. This has got an arrow on it, so that has to go in that way. I'm going to have to undo that one, and I'm going to shove that in, and that'll stop the water coming in, and then we can tighten it down. The problem we've got here is that the log, um, the paddle wheel, was anti-fouled and um, we tried to clean it up a little bit and put it in and just hope that it would work and it didn't so now we're going to do a proper job we're going to take it out we're going to give it a bit of a clean it's probably got a load of growth on because it's been in there for six months or so now and um, where there's not been to the boat so there's probably a load of growth on that and um, we'll clean it up and um, hopefully that'll fix the problem this goes back to our tridata instrument which does um, depth and speed and then that information is also used like on the wind instrument to do apparent wind and a few other bits and bobs so I've got to get it fixed really and also we get trip data from it as well okay here we go so let's get that ready let's get this one lined up I'll pull this one out with this hand here we go so it's not too bad. We're not going to sink the boat, but <laughs> it's still a bit of a scary moment every time you do it. Okay, so a little bit more water came in than I was expecting because I actually got that slightly wrong. It slightly went across, slightly cross already. So we sorted that out now. So here's our log. Actually, it's not as, I thought it'd be a little bit worse than that, but it's just a little bit stiff. It's just not moving. So I'm going to knock the pin out and I'm going to give this a proper clean up and then we'll put this back in. We'll dry it out. We've got a little, got a little animal. We've caught an animal. Hey, look, what kind of animal. Little sea shrimpy type thing. Ah. There. Oh my, that's gross. He's got sucked in. Okay, oh, we've got, got another one. one. We've got a couple. So we'll give this a clean up and then we'll report back. So what we're doing now is we're just knocking out the. There's a little pin that, that runs through the paddle wheel. You can see there. So I'm just going to take that out, give that all a good clean up, clean the paddle wheel up, and just see what's going on with it. Catherine, I've managed to rescue a couple of the little shrimp things, whatever they are. So they're now in the bowl, and hopefully they'll be going back into the sea. Okay, so I'll spin the wheel now. Clean the wheel up. I'll spin it and see if it works. Are you getting a reading? Yeah, it's working. What's it saying? It's kind of a mix. At uh, the depths. Not the depth, the speed. The speed's going up. <laughs> just ran, really random. It's okay, just going that up. Should be okay now. It's just going down now. It will. Oh yeah, you see the trip's gone up a little bit as well. So we've got a little bit of trip, that's from just me spinning that wheel. Okay, well we'll wait until we get a little bit of tide or we go out um, and hopefully that'll move around. Dried all around this just to make sure that we haven't got any leaks, which we haven't. So we'll check that in another hour or so just to make sure everything's okay. Um, and then that, um, that'll that be fine. Just hand tighten these. If you look on this one, there's actually two rubber seals at the top. There's a seal here and then a seal right at the very top. Always a good idea to leave this near to this because obviously you can take this out and if anything happens to this, it fails or anything, you've got that straight away to shove in there and hopefully save your boat. Obviously this this one is slightly different because that's actually through, it's a through hole fit and you can't take any of that out. So the only thing you could do there really is knock a wooden bung in. Um, it's always a good idea to again have a set of wooden bungs just in case something happens with the transducer or a seacock and then you've always got something handy just to hopefully that's all all finished um, and um, the speedo and the uh, log will start to work <laughs> 